Hi kids! Today we will learn different types of forces. So let's get started. We learned force is either pushing or pulling of an object. And there are many types of forces depending on whether the force is resulting from the contact between two objects or there is no contact between two objects. Contact force is a force in which an object comes in contact with another object. Contact forces are also direct forces. Examples, pushing a car, pulling a rope, opening a door, closing a door, kicking a ball, running a bicycle. In all these actions, force is applied and two objects come in contact with each other. Examples of contact forces are friction, normal force or applied force, buoyancy, muscular, wind, moving water, non-contact forces, non-contact forces. Here, objects move without coming in contact with another object. They are also known as invisible forces. Examples, gravity, magnetic force, electrostatic force, now let's learn each type of force one by one. First is applied force. Applied force is that force which is applied to an object by a person or another object. If a person is pushing or pulling an object, let's say a chair, then there is an applied force acting upon the chair. So applied force is a contact force as it can move the object only if it is in contact with the object. Now let's see what is a magnetic force. Magnetic force. A magnet is an object that can push or pull materials made of iron, steel, or nickel. A magnet is made of these same materials. Here are some pins, keys, or any small things that are made of iron or steel. Now, bring a magnet closer to these things. What do you see? All things will get stuck to the magnet. It is because the magnet attracts or pulls all these things made of iron, steel, or nickel. The magnet pulled these things without coming in contact with these things. So there was an invisible force that pulled these things towards the magnet. So this is non-contact force. We all love to stick stickers of our choice to our refrigerator. Why do they get stuck to the refrigerator? It is because a small magnet is attached at their back and the refrigerator is made up of iron. As we bring them closer to the door of the refrigerator, they get attached to it due to the pulling effect between a magnet and a refrigerator. So this is a non-contact force. Now here is another non-contact force. It is gravity. It does not require to come in contact with the object to move it. Now let's see what is force of gravity. You have a pencil and you just dropped it. Why does it fall to the ground? Why doesn't it stay in the air or goes up? Do you ever think? It is because of the pulling force of the ground. This pulling force of the ground is called gravity which attracts everything towards it. So it's a non-contact force. All objects on Earth experience a force of gravity that is directed downwards towards the center of the Earth. Now let's learn about another non-contact force, which is called friction. And let's see if it's a contact force or a non-contact force. Friction is a force that resists motion. When two things are in contact, it too occurs when two things rub together. Friction can cause problems, but it also helps us in many ways. Here is a toy car. First, push it on a rough surface and record how far it goes. 
Now, push the same car with the same force on a smooth surface. Again, record how far it goes. What are the results? The car went much further on a smoother surface. It is because the rough surface poses greater friction or opposing force for any movement and the smooth surface poses lesser friction or lesser opposing force for any movement. So friction is a force that acts against every motion and it works in the opposite direction of the force causing the movement. It is because of the friction that object slows down and eventually stops. So kids, today we learn more about forces. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.